Raise your hand if you believe the city is stifling businesses. Two All four. Okay, <laughs> wow, five. All right. Well, what's your assessment of what is causing this lack of business-friendly activity in, in City Hall, and what do we do about it? It'd be nice if everybody who goes to City Hall that wants to get a permit can actually track their order so there's more accountability. City Hall has to work for you. We have a set of procedures, and especially a development code, that is highly unfriendly to business, that's highly prescriptive, meaning it tells our people what to do. And I don't think that's what City Hall should be in the business of doing. When you have a half of the system is going to using the internet now to fill out the paperwork and the applications and all these different things, submitting things half on, uh, online, the other half is the draconian paperwork process that they have. What we need to do is kind of embrace the future, embrace those different kinds of jobs, whether it's looking at like a subsidy to start a business here in the city for our, our residents. Uh, we need to increase the, the relationship for with the unions that our city has. Traditionally, um, when you do that, you get, you, you get money that stays here in the economy. You get people that stay here in the city. The city moved ahead with the money back guarantee program, right? Uh, refunds fees to developers, uh, potentially in the tens of thousands of dollars if city staff is late on meeting deadlines. So do you support this approach even if it costs the city much needed tax and fee revenue? I want things to be done on time, but I also, I don't like waste, so I think we're going to have to look at a different solution for that. I, I think I like that the idea outside the box thinking of terms of uh, trying to incentivize people to be faster and get get the job done sooner. But again, I'm going also going back to if we streamline the operation, l lessen the paperwork process that needs to be uh, gone through just to get something done, uh, as I think is where you're going to. Um, see that, that it would change and we may not have to give that money back guarantee. In its original form, I didn't think that the money back guarantee went far enough. My, my personal preference would have been that if projects weren't approved on time that they were automatically approved in many circumstances. What I think will make the money back guarantee work more effectively is if we make everything that's by right, that's essentially everything that you're allowed to do under the development code without um, having to get a conditional use permit or, or other kinds of, of uh, higher level sign off. Uh, all of that should be done without any permits. I do support the money back guarantee. In fact, I went to the council and spoke in favor of it. People that invest in these communities and create these jobs and the workers that work on those jobs, they want people that are actually business friendly and aren't going to kill projects. So they're at, they, they want, they're willing to actually do more. They don't want the money back. They want their projects approved. And that's what we need to do. But we have to have the city be accountable to them.